Okay, there we go. All right, so welcome to another Winning Wednesday session where my partners and I are going to just take a look at the market and show you how we get in and out with the bag doing binary options, which is a time-based style of trading. Uh, we will, I'll be showing you how to set up a broker so you can do some demo trades alongside us if that's something that you may be interested in, okay? Um, hello, Ty, how are you doing this morning? I am doing all right. How are you doing this morning? I am doing great. Um, been up since 2 a.m., but hey, raring to go. That's I'll be I'm in bed as soon as I'm done here. Oh. <laughs> Wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So before we get into it, uh, you go ahead and do your thing. thing. Okay. I think everybody here already knows the drill, so I'll be quick with it today unless I see someone else pop in. This call is for teaching purposes only. We, Alethea and I, are not licensed traders, and therefore, we are not responsible for your accounts. We are all learning the same skill that I think everyone here is learning. We've learned it to a degree where we feel comfortable um, doing what we're doing, but again, you are responsible for your own account. So with that being said, we caution you to trade at your own risk. Um, Alethea is going to suggest for the purpose of this call, trading probably 1%, maybe no more than 2% of your account. It's up to you. If you want to trade 100% of your account on one trade because you have a really good feeling about it, go for it. We wouldn't recommend it, but it's up to you. And uh, those of you who are new, I don't think that anyone here is new. iPhone, is that Nisi? I'm not sure. Um, if you are new, uh, Alethea is going to show you how to set up a demo account so that you can trade alongside us. And uh, if you decide to take the uh, trade ideas that we're calling, then you can jump up and jump on in and do what we do. All right. With that being said, thank you. I'll take heed to what she said. And yes, 1%. Let's see. 1% uh, for each trade. All right. So the first thing that we do before we get into the market is we're going to check the news. That's the first thing. You never trade without knowing what's going on in the news. And for that, I'm going to go to forexfactory.com. On forexfactory.com, you're going to have the date. Today is Wednesday, November 10, the time currency pair, and uh, some folders. Now, the different color folders mean things. Yellow folder is low impact news, right? Orange folder, medium impact news. And the red folder is high impact. So right now it's after 11, and the next news event is at 12.57. Oh, wait, I'm... Um, I told you I've been up since two. <laughs> the next okay, and I'm dropping the links for you this time. Okay, awesome. Thanks. The next news event is at noon. Uh, because we're on I'm on Eastern Standard Time. So it's after 11 Eastern Standard Time. So there's nothing really going on right now, but we do see that at 10:30 there was an orange folder and there were a bunch of red folders. So we may want to stay away from the U.S. dollar because it's been acting up all morning, right? So typically, uh, I wouldn't really be too concerned. But when it comes to the U.S. dollar, I find that whenever there's any kind of news event for the U.S. dollar, it affects the entire um, scheme of things. So we're going to be um, being very cautious today. Because even though it's not the other currencies, uh, the U.S. dollar reigns supreme and tends to affect all. All right. So. America. <laughs> right. Let me move this down here. <laughs> move that to the bottom. All right. So once you check the news, 
that tells you what you're not going to trade. So now I want to know what I am going to trade. So I'm going to check Finviz. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get rid of Indy. Go away. Go so away. Finviz.com, and then I'll select Forex. Stop. So we can look at the foreign exchange. And here we see, wow. The strongest currency right now is the Canadian dollar, not being that strong at all, <laughs> mm. right? And the weakest is the Japanese yen. So we're looking at this bar, it goes from strongest on the left to the weakest on the right. So I'm always looking to trade stuff with the greatest amount of separation. So right now uh, there is, EuroCAD. So I'm going to take a look at that. Uh, EuroCAD. Yeah, that's what I look at to start. Let me see. I see some. Okay. We got the links. Now, when deciding on whether we're going bullish or bearish, it's when the base currency or currency one is stronger than the quote currency or currency two, we're looking at buys, we're looking at calls, we're looking at a bullish movement. And you should, you will learn that bullish means up, bearish means down. So when the first currency is the stronger of the two, we're going to buy, you know, we're going to call, right? Now, when the second currency is the stronger of the two, we're looking for sells or we're looking for puts, we're looking for bearish movement or for price to go down, right? So since I said we're gonna look at Euro CAD, Euro is the first currency, but it is the weaker of the two, right? So we're looking for cells. We're looking for bearish movement. We're looking for price to go down. Does everybody understand that right now? Drop a one in the chat if you understand. Perfect. Perfect, okay. So and then, so I know that I'm going to be analyzing EuroCAD to start, right? So then for the analysis, I'm going to go to TradingView, which is a free site, right? There is a paid version, but you can use the free version. Uh, the paid version gives you added features and that's something you might wanna look into uh, the more uh, involved you get in this trading process. Uh, to get a TradingView account, you simply can use your Google credentials to log in, no hassle, right? And I'm streaming on my YouTube channel, Alethea B. If you don't know how to use TradingView, I have a video there discussing how to use TradingView. So you can go check that out, okay? Now for the analysis, you do it here and then you're going to execute your trade ideas in a broker. And I know you hear me talking about broker and most people, when you think of a broker, you're thinking of a human being that you will go to to help you. But in this instance for binary options, the broker is actually just going to be another site. Uh, we're going to use race option. I'm not endorsing race, not, not race option. I'm gonna be using pocket option. I'm not endorsing pocket option. I'm not affiliated with them by any means, but uh, they will give us a free demo that you can use to uh, get going, get some monopoly money so you can participate alongside us. So pocketoption.com, when you first log on, it looks like this and you can register. 
for a free account, right? Uh, you can sign in with your Facebook. If you have Facebook, you can sign in using Google, just like you do with TradingView. Now, in terms of Facebook, uh, if I'm going to be using this as my broker broker with my real dollars, I would not um, log in with Facebook because, you know, we've seen some iffy things happening with Facebook. They were actually shut down uh, for like a day, uh, some weeks back. So, you know, I think uh, to err on the side of caution, use an email address and create your own password. That's what I would suggest. But you do whatever you want to do. It will be your broker, right? So uh, you in registration, you enter the credentials or, you know, whatever you're doing. And then we're going to log in. I'm not a robot. Check that. Oh. That's what a robot would say. Can a robot do this? Taxi, taxi, taxi. <laughs> Can they? Verify. <laughs> All right. So here we go. And we are in. So that's another demo. So when you first log in, you will have candles. So let me switch it to candles, right? So it's going to look like this when you first log in. And it probably will be on stocks. So right here, you click on whatever is going on here and you're going to change it from stocks to currencies. So you can do currencies, cryptocurrency, commodities, stocks, indices. We're trading currencies today. So you would select currencies. And I go a step further and I select A to Z so that it will be alphabetical. Right now it's based on the percentage payout going from the highest percentage of 92% to the lowest being 50%. But that will have the pairs all over. I like it alphabetical so that when I'm searching, it's easier for me to find. So now it starts from A, goes all the way to you, right? Click outside, freeze everything up. Now, when taking a trade, uh, you're going to listen for four things. First thing being the currency pair. So say, okay, I've decided I want to look at EuroCAD, right? So I would come here, I select EuroCAD, alphabetical. So, you know, EuroCAD, click on that, click outside. We see it's paying 75%, not bad, right? And then I actually prefer it to be on area, but you know, once you get into it, you do whatever is best for you. So I'm gonna go here. I'm going to select the line chart and I'm going to toggle this to the right. So I have the entire area and that's that. Next thing. So currency pair is the first thing. Time frame is next. Uh, both Ty and myself will be giving out trade ideas. Ty's trades are, you want us to have it on two minutes fixed time, correct? Um, one or two minutes fixed time. Okay. So ties trades one or two minutes fixed time for me, it's four minutes fixed time you can do, but if you're using pocket option, five minutes is what you will keep it on five minutes to give it time to do whatever it wants to do before, you know, um, but for this quick demo, I'm just going to drop it down to one minute. M1. So you can click here and select M1, or I just use this minus uh, sign to reduce the time. Okay. So, and once you create that demo account, you should have a thousand demo dollars. One percent of a thousand is ten dollars. So you're just going to risk ten dollars for any trade, 
I'm going to drop this down to a dollar for this quick demo. Uh, so you're looking for the currency pair, time frame. You're looking also for the price. So price is here, the strike price. And you see this blue dot price is constantly moving. It's never at a standstill while the market is open. And for Forex, the market is open five days. Um, it closes at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a Friday, and it reopens at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a Sunday. So outside of that, the market is just open. If you want to jump in at midnight, at uh, 6 a.m., whatever time you want to be on, you can get on. So you're listening for the last three numbers. So right now, looking at this, uh, do you think price is going to keep going down or, keep, or it's going to go up? Uh, Kyle, what do you think? Think price is going to keep dropping or it's going to go up? Just a quick guess. No analysis. You can type it in the chat. He says drop. Okay, drop. So I would hit this button with the arrow pointing down. So price just needs to stay below this red line by the time it comes to expiration here, that's all that needs to happen. And since I risked a dollar, if I clear, I'm gonna get the dollar back along with the 75 cents. So I'll make a dollar 75, right? If it's a hundred dollars, it, it would be a hundred and seventy-five dollars, just like that, okay? $10.750, just needs to stay below. Right. And we are waiting. Wow, I wonder what's going to happen. A long minute. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> you never count the eggs before the end. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So it did, it was a success, right? So you go here, the trade was here, but it's no longer there, hit closed. And we see a dollar was placed for the south side bearish and we made a dollar 75, right? So let me recap. You're gonna listen for the currency pair, which you would go here and select. Uh, you'd have the time, which I say, five minutes, so I'm gonna change it right now to M5 because it's this broker, but you seasoned people on the call who may be in different brokers, you can do different time, right? Uh, the strike price, uh, once you're looking for the last three numbers. So if we're thinking that price is going down, Whatever the last three is that we say the price is, you're gonna look for that price or higher. When we think price is going down, we wanna get in as high as possible, like what we see happening right here, right now. Because remember, Eurocad is um, bearish, right? So we'll be looking for price going down. We get in as high as possible. If we're looking for price to go up for bullish movement, we want to get in, we're going to listen for the last three. When it comes to the last three, we're going to be looking for that price or lower. So it's that simple. So now that I've shown you guys that, let's go back to trading view where we're actually going to do the analysis. And I said we were looking at EuroCAD, EuroCAD for a bearish idea. Make sure. Remove drawings. Okay, so we sell the floor of a downtrend. It's right there. It's there. <laughs> oh, that's looking like something, and 
that's the final thing. All right, so yeah, it just came right there. So um, right now I would look at 372 or higher, but we're gonna wait for the next candle, right? 372 or higher is what I'm looking at right now. So you'd go to your broker and it went up to 352. Three seven two or higher for the south side is what I would be looking at. Right now it's saying it's at three sixty one. What time is it? Oh, it's eleven thirty. Uh, if it spikes up again, I'm gonna... I took your uh, ticket at three seven four. Oh, you got it shot up there for you. Mm hmm on okay. race option on a different broker. Okay, all right, so there you go. So that's one person in. Anybody else in? Drop it in the chat if you got in. Three, okay. I'm there you in. can get in oh. now. Oh, I got in. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> why is it behaving like that? All right, so that happens. So mm -hmm. now we're looking at... um. 465 is the next entry point if you want to do that but um don't get in <laughs> this this went a little right too, too much momentum mm -hmm. but there's time um like i said four minutes fixed time so we just have to wait now and it's going to expire here so i just need price to work its way back down and close below this red line by um expiration that's all and i'm waiting on cat chef to give me um a delorean setup um if i can get the yellow to cross back over the red that's what i want to take for bullish ideas I don't know if it's going to happen before this session is over, but that's what I'm waiting on. So Euro CAD, Euro is to the right. So that's why we know we're looking for bearish momentum. But like I said, guys, when we checked um, the news, we saw US dollar. So I said, you know, light risk. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Light risk. Um, Brian says he cleared. So good for him. Excellent. Yes. So we just need to see it drop, but it's looking. This wick to the left here, I would just wait anyway to see if it comes up here. Uh, you said cat chef? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kyle cleared, Brian cleared, times two. Okay. Let's be you, Brian. <laughs> And I'm still waiting. I am too. Did you roll it over? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> okay. I have a few seconds left. Yeah, listen. Keep going, though. And miraculously, I cleared. It, it dropped right 
<laughs> it dropped right there and then went right back up. <laughs> okay, well. Four minutes fixed time. That's all you need. Mm-hmm. Nakaya got in at 400. Okay. Cool. When I forgot to change it. I'm a dollar. But this is just a demo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You said CAD Chef? Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a minute to give me the setup, if it gives it to me. Um, mm -hmm. It's the only thing that I saw that would be good, I think, for this session. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting the stochastic cross up like I want to take it back up. Mm -hmm. But um, I want the yellow, I need the yellow and red to get back in order. Um, and it should happen because the way the red line is cutting through those candles, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay. and clear all right okay so awesome so you said cad chef so let's take a look at what ty's looking at cad chef want me to share my screen sure um let me stop share and there you go now you can share let's see Oh, we have a Ray Guapo on here. Um, who invited Ray Guapo? <laughs> Ray Guapo, do you mind um, letting us know um, who invited you on the call? If it's your first time and do you know how to trade? You can just type it in the chat. Let's see here. Um, okay, are y'all on my screen now? Yes, we see your screen. Okay, so um, Alethea and I, we both obviously do binary options trading. Um, she, she marks up her charts and I do DeLorean trading. So with that, I'm waiting for um, all of these lines here to line up in the order of yellow, red, aqua, gray, and blue before I start taking trades. Um, I look at two things when I'm uh, trading in this style. I look at the lines, the uh, DeLorean indicators, the DeLorean EMAs. And then I also am looking at the bottom, the stochastic um, uh, at the bottom of my screen. Uh, so what I personally like to do is find a run at the start of it. And so um, like, uh, let's say that we were looking for bearish ideas uh, after this cross up um, at the top, then I would like to take that down. This is set up for bullish ideas. So I like the way that the stochastic is crossing up here at the bottom. And I'd like to take this for a run all the way up. Those are how I can get three to eight trades in and then I can be done with my trading day. And so, um, but in order for me to be able to get everything that I'm looking for, I see a little curve starting to happen in the yellow line. I'm waiting for the yellow line to get on top of the red line. And it will happen. I don't know if it's going to happen before our session is over, but I'm going to take this all the way up and, you know, until I see that I shouldn't anymore. Uh, typically, I take my uh, DeLorean trades for one minute uh, fixed time. Uh, for the purpose of this call, I would say two minutes just to give everyone a chance to get an entry. I, um, we have the option of taking the open candle price or the yellow line price. I'm very picky about this. Um, and so I don't probably get to take as many entries as most people would take because I don't really like taking the open candle price. I see it go way above or way below the open candle price, uh, depending on which direction that I'm needing it to go then I'll, you know, I'll jump in, but I prefer to see it hit that yellow line and, and it's almost, you know, a done deal. It almost without fail, I clear those trades. 
So that's what I'm waiting on. And as you can see, we got uh, aqua gray blue, but we got to get the yellow red in order. And it looks like we're getting a little crook in this yellow line. So it's eventually going to cross over that red and it'll be ready for a good setup as long as the um, currency strength stays in order as well. Okay, thank you. Thank you, I'll stop my share. And then uh, if I got something going on, I'll let y'all know. Okay. Um... All right, Nakaya cleared. Good job, Nakaya. Share again. All right. So looking at the same CAD chef, uh, while you're waiting on that, if it pulls back down to 395, we can jump in for a north side. So two potential entries one we're waiting on the other we're waiting on <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go and hey patience is part of the game right waiting for the perfect mm -hmm. entry waiting for the perfect setup to get mm -hmm. in and uh you know increase those accounts yes that's right um but let me go look and see what else AUD JPY. Jamel cleared. Jamel cleared as well. Awesome. Awesome. Um, yes, three nine five. Um, what was I looking? AUD JPY. Okay, so I'm gonna look here. This is going to be for a bullish idea again. We buy the ceiling. This guy here. Here. That's 15. Oh, okay. Perfect. Um, My God. Chip. I'm going to um, just check on Hourglass real quick to see if I really want 793 as the entry on AJ, 793. So we'll go to the north side. Let me just check. Yep. It's there. It's green. Green. Let me look um, in market trap. I like to look at market trap. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some coffee. Okay. I'm going to run the Starbucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> be right back. Hmm. Interesting. Let me go back to all of this. This. Let's see if I needed to refresh. No. And our glass, everything is ready. The momentum. Let me see. Maybe. UJPY. Ah, I missed. I missed it. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, it looks like it's coming back. Um, I said seven nine three for the north side, AJ. But um, I was gonna do a little quick jump in right there. 793 for the north side, AJ. <clears throat> so, currency pair, AUDJPY, 
you know I'm doing five minutes. Strike price 793 or lower for the north side. Bullish idea. Oh, Kyle, you <laughs> Kyle took it and cleared. Hey, when you understand what's happening, you can see as I'm seeing and you can react. See, I, I missed out. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Looks like I just I missed it. It's gone. It's okay. Um as long as somebody gets it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um it's right there. And so that's the next thing you got to understand. Like when a price is called out, it's more like a zone. I hope this thing doesn't act up. Because price never quite came down to 793. However, it came so close. And it came to 799. And I was going to get in. But I was like, oh, let me come over. Let me select the pair. Uh, you you want to get in that price or lower, but when you see a lot of wick, like you see this going on here, it's wick, you may want to jump in, you know, but um, when you're learning, you want to be patient and just wait. If you don't get it, you don't get it, you know, wait for the next idea. So, um, so that's two and O oh so far. Um, CAD chef, let's take a look, see what it's doing. Okay. It's going to be a, a little while before, um, that yellow line crosses up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's working. Mm -hmm. It's working. This is literally what I do. I sit and I wait. When I see that the setup is coming, mm -hmm. I wait. And, and it's working for me. I'll just say it like that. Well, this is actually, uh, I know, is the red line cutting through both candle bodies. If the yellow line wasn't in the way right there, mm -hmm. that was a DeLorean. There, If we looked on the DeLorean software, that's, there would be an arrow pointing up. Mm -hmm. right now. Red line cutting through. Oh, no, it's not a DeLorean. You know why? Why? The red candle is bigger. It needed to be the green candle that's bigger. Catch. If you're looking on a 15-minute? Yeah. No, that's a five. Or is it five? Yeah, that was a 15-minute. Okay. Yeah. On the 15-minute, the, the DeLorean... The red line needs to cut through both the candle bodies, but um, the green candle needs to be bigger than the mm -hmm. red. Yeah. See, guys, I still have to um, replay your things in my head. Speaking of which, this evening at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be playing the DeLorean video to show you the, diff the four different types of DeLorean entries that you can do. There's the three candles or less. There's the three to five minute candle. There's, uh, there's pulling back to the yellow line. There's pulling back to the red line, you know? So um, we're gonna get a, a refresher. I played that video on Saturday. It was a hit, so not everyone was present. So I'm going to play that again this evening for those that want to jump on and catch that. But do you see on the five minute chart, that's what I was looking at. Um, the five minute chart, the red line does cross through both and the green is slightly larger. Uh where those 
two kind of long candles, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles to the left. That's um, the green candle would have to be on the right side. The green would have to be on the right. Yeah. Wow. Do you know that's what I've been doing and it's been, I've been clearing <laughs> my ass off. Um, <laughs> well, I just look for it to, pa to pass through both, uh, to cut through both. And as long as the direction that I want to go, if that's bigger, mm -hmm. it has been working. <laughs> But okay. Nakaya, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm. <laughs> You're doing it on your Zoom? Yes. yes. Okay. It, this will not be live streamed on the YouTube channel. Sorry, people in YouTube land. Uh, this is uh, I Am Academy exclusive. I will not be broadcasting live. Uh, Are there people watching on YouTube right now? No. Okay. I was just curious. Yeah. I see one person and I get the impression that that one may be me. <laughs> well, hey. Mm. Look, hey, I know me too, Nakaya, and it was working, but and I'm going to keep doing that because <laughs> I find it to work. So, but hey, I'm not teaching it, so. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Okay, um, let me check. Let's see if I can get into one more trade before um, we close out. Um, wow, it's almost time. Mm -hmm. Let's look at one, UJ. <laughs> I can go walk my dogs after this. All right, so, oh, it's not even moving. All right. I want to see movement. This is supposed to be for a buy. Mm -hmm. Stochastic. Red is above yellow. Yeah. Mm. On the 15 minutes, same thing. Red is above yellow. So I'm not even going to be bothered with this. Nope. No, you, Jay, because that's not what you're supposed to look like. <laughs> no. Nah. Um, let's check Euro USD. Euro USD, Euro, the first currency is weaker, so that would be a sell. Let's look, that would be a bearish idea. Let's see, uh, remove drawings, and we see it is in a downtrend. So we sell the floor, that's all the way up here. That's on the 15, let's see on the five. We sell the floor here. Let's pull back up, sell the floor. Okay. Came and kissed right here already. And shooting down, sell the floor of a downtrend, guys, mm -hmm. and buy the roof of an uptrend. Now that's like my mantra. I'm gonna check our glass. Do you take trades in consolidating markets? Um, if I really want to, yes, and that's what I used to do before I really mm -hmm. um honed in on this because that by the ceiling of an uptrend does not work for consolidating right consolidating market guys you want to buy the floor and you want to sell the ceiling so um maybe this is an opportunity to teach a little something something mm -hmm. let's get a clear space because i've played around with you know i just started with my chart markups and I do find it to be really effective and an easy way to get some trades in if I'm just looking to get some trades in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the market moves in three ways. 
it moves up. It moves down. Is this working? Okay. And was this it? No, that wasn't it. Okay. It moves sideways. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't give me enough. We get the idea. <laughs> I think we. I think we are. Wait. I like this one. It moves sideways. There. Mm. Mm. Wait. I thought I had more than that. Anyway, right. So. Consolidating market is when it's moving sideways like this. And when that's happening, you can just get in, up, down. You can buy when it's down here, sell when it hits up here. Buy when it's down here, sell when it hits up here. For markets that are trending up, of course, it's not moving in a straight line perfectly like that. It's more like like this, like this, like this, right? So when it's moving like that, uh, you wanna buy when it has a pullback or a retracement. So you, you can buy here, you can buy here. When it pulls back, you would buy here. You look at higher highs, higher low, higher high, higher low, Higher high, that's an uptrend. On the flip side, downtrend, start up here, come down, lower high, lower low. Lower low. So when you have that, you get in here, you wait for the pullback, you get in here, take it down. You wait for the pullback, you get in here. So if you missed here and you see it carrying on, you don't jump in because you may jump in and then it does the pullback on you. You don't want that, right? So you just want to, the market is going to do what it does. You let the market decide what it's doing and then you join it, not you trying to predict no it's going down let me jump in and take it no it's gonna pull back and you're gonna mess yourself up so does anybody have any questions on that everybody is all good okay um so let me go ahead and close out with the trading plan, right? So everybody, anything you do in life, you have a plan, right? You don't just do something, you map it out. If you want to be a teacher, you know, you have to take certain steps, follow certain things. You want to be a um, nutritionist, follow certain steps to get there. Doctor, certain steps. Same thing with trading, right? And the destination when it comes to trading is monetary, right? So say you have a, a $10,000 target, right? Five figures, right? You start with $100. And say, we're going to use eight, right? And uh, your goal, your daily goal is whatever you want it to be. Right, but you want to start moderate. Eight percent is not moderate. Just FYI, it's pretty ambitious. Um, think about your checking or savings account in the bank. They don't even give you one percent return on your money for the month. 
<laughs> okay? So we're trying to, let's say we're going to do 8% for the day. And let's do that for 60 days, which is two months. And for those two months, we're not going to take anything out. So we're going to reinvest 100% of what we earn. And earlier I stated the market closes at Friday, um, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on a Friday, reopens on a Sunday, 5 p.m. So we're not including weekends. And what is that going to be? Well, it grows to a little over $10,000. $10,025 is the earning. So it grows to $10,125.52. Now, I know when I first saw that, I was like, huh? <laughs> it didn't make sense to me because I know what my $100 will do if I put it in a checking or savings. <laughs> it's going to go down, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's not enough of a minimum balance, right? But um, so, and let me just, disclaimer, past performance doesn't guarantee future results, but if you could do just half of this and make $5,000 still better than the less than a hundred you'll get if you have it in checking or savings. Right. But I couldn't wrap my brain around that. So I needed a breakdown. So here's the breakdown. So day one, you just need to make $8. If your goal is 8%, 8% of a hundred dollars is $8. You make that $8. So you end with $108, right? Day two, it's 8% of this 108 because we're not pulling anything out. So day two, you want to make $8.64 now. Woohoo. And don't think about the dollar amount. I know you're like, $8? Who wants to make $8? Think about it in terms of the percentage that you gain, right? Because you could not do this anywhere. Fast forward to day 30. 8% is $74.54. And on the last day, 8% is $750.04, right? And this is a calculator. So this is perfect math, right? So we understand that we're human and we may fall short. But 5,000, if I aim for 10 and I hit 5,000 in two months, I, I can get behind that, right? So compound interest, this is something that they should have taught us in school. Uh, some people I'm hearing have been learning it now, but for the most part, it's not something being taught. It just isn't, right? And if you don't understand interest, you'll always be on the paying end. But with that, uh, I'm done for today. I hope you learned a little something, something along the way and for all my trading partners here, congrats on securing the bag with us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, Ty, do you have any closing words? I want coffee. That's all. <laughs> gotta wake up. No, um, I'm glad that Nakaya's here. I wasn't expecting to see her, you know, on a on Wednesday, but I'm glad that everybody's here. Thank you all for coming. And um, look, next week, Bring someone else, um, you know, um, we all kind of have an idea of what's going on. So let's just kind of keep it in our minds to spread the information. This is potentially life transforming information. When someone gets a hold of the skill and um, gets a hold of the discipline that they need, we know we see, you know, what it's doing for us. And we want to bring people in, you know, so that they can experience the same thing that we're experiencing, um, you know, the year is coming to a close. I'm about to hit a goal that I have set for myself um, for my trading account. And there's another goal that I have set for the very end of the year that I'm still on target to hit. I had some setbacks that is part of the deal. You know, like Alethea said, the, um, the interest calculator is perfect math and we're humans. Every trading day is not an excellent trading day. Every trading session is not an excellent trading session for me and for any of us, I'm sure. But, um, you know, we have those setbacks. We dust ourselves off. We stick to our trading plan. Uh, we manage our risk so that we can get back in the market to trade another day. No sense in blowing an account, revenge trading because the day didn't go the way you wanted it to. 
Sometimes the market giving is giving and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it giveth and it taketh away. So, you know, again, stop when you're hit that stop loss number, whatever your percentage is or number is you set for yourself. And also stop when you've hit your goal for the day, because again, the market giveth and the market taketh away. And so we just want to, on a daily basis, do everything that we can to grow our accounts. Yeah, we're going to have some setbacks, but stick to your plan. And it's, that's the discipline that you need to get to where it is that we're all trying to go. We'll get there. We'll get there. We will. We will. And with that, guys, just want to plug the YouTube channel. So Ty is from the Ty said, what Ty said, uh, vintage. That, that's a long vintage list. celebrity scandals. <laughs> vintage <laughs> celebrity scandals. So you can check her out over there. And I have my Twitter Holic channel along with the Alethea B channel. In Twitter Holic, I'm just um, talking about funny tweets that I stumble across on Twitter. Uh, Nakaya, here she has naturally Nakaya when it's all things natural. You know, she has her little pup uh, Titan. So she wants to keep a chemical free home uh, from cleaning products to even um, beauty items everything she's just all about that natural stuff okay thank you nakaya for dropping the link in the uh, chat thank you yes so yeah naturally nakaya ty said what ty said oh and ty has another channel that i'm talking about now um somebody's pastor is always getting arrested <laughs> she's starting to build that channel up so go on head over there and subscribe to that one okay yes and if you know a dirty pastor doing dirty business holler at me and, and let me know the story so i can report on it <laughs> yes yes and naturally nakaya so um nakaya i believe you just uploaded a few days ago so go check out nakaya's um most recent video and then check out the that. others right and happy birthday to titan whose happy birthday is today birthday to titan that's my dog that's my dog titan it's her dog literally <laughs> figuratively yeah <laughs> uh, so yeah that's about it so i'm going to um stop the live 